Please ask your partners the five questions on page 17. What sports do you play? How often do you play? Where do you play? What equipment do you use? And are you good at? And for example, are you good at basketball? And please ask the your person beside you as your partner. Please ask your partner those five questions. Go ahead. And I'll sit on this side. Jackson, what sports do you play? What sports do you play? Um, Pardon me? Oh. No, real sports. <laughs> do you really make your state go look kind of funny? Basketball, how often do you play? Once we come up now, though, that was before in high school, right? No sports now. Susan, you must do some sports. Shopping, right? <laughs> What's your sport? You like swimming. How often do you go swimming? Once a month. Wow, okay, you know, if I just exercise once a month, it'd be very little. Where do you go swimming? Go to your high school to go swimming. And how about you? Where do you where did you used to go to play basketball? Oh no, basketball. Once a week, but where? Where? Where did you go? Court. You know, sometimes the office plays. You can go play with them. You know, right? Some of the students. So yeah, you can show off your figure skating and basketball together, maybe. So ask the last two questions to each other, and I'm going to change the seats. <laughs> So, which sports do you play, Joyce? I really play, not, not You play badminton. We have to go play badminton. I love that. Are you good? Yes. You're good? Okay, when are we going to play? I usually play Tuesdays and Fridays. I play badminton. When do you usually play? Yeah. So? You don't play anymore. Ex professional, right? I see. What sports do you usually play? You don't go shopping? Do you know now Taiwan considers, all girls consider shopping a kind of sport. Uh, they say, oh, sport, because they think it's exercise, you know, walking. So when my wife goes shopping, you know, I get really, really tired sometimes because I can't keep up. <laughs> she can go faster than you, last longer in shopping. Uh, but already married, just now it's just training all the time. Uh, before, when you guys were in high school, what sports did you play? In high school, you must have played a sport. Pardon me? Racing. Racing. Marathon? Marathon or dash? Marathon. Oh my gosh, but now you don't practice anymore at all. So just couch potato and shopping. <laughs> okay, so keep asking the last two questions. What sports do you like? What sports do you like? So you don't go shopping? No. You don't go shopping? No, I go shopping. I go, yes, I go. Walking is a kind of exercise, I guess. And I like walking. You like walking. Actually, you like shopping. You know? Actually, I like international. International shopping. So no, like internet shopping. Internet. So that's still sitting. That's not even a, an exercise. Forget the sport. So in high school, you didn't play any sports? <laughs> I played sports that I don't really like. But you don't really like sports. But right now, I, I have some. I have some. I have some. I don't know how to set the camera. I have a machine. Mm -hmm. It has to stand on it and it's really steady. A stunt machine. It's called a stunt machine. Yeah. So you just do like aerobic exercises, something like this, except with uh, a step. A step. So it's called aerobic exercise. Yeah, or cardio. It's also called cardio. You know, it makes your heart beat faster, like something like running. To so know the answer to this question, how can I improve my English? So this is how you can improve your English, and this is the second most important thing that you're going to learn in your life. We hope it's. People's names, you want to get to know people. So when you're learning English, when you're learning any language, it's not about the actual language. It's about learning about people. You want to have conversation, you want to have fun together. So it's this all together. It's not just about a language. It's about getting to know people, 
having fun together, and having conversations together. And when you do that, you'll learn English much faster than you can possibly imagine. It'll be more enjoyable than you can imagine, and you'll improve in ways that you can't imagine. And that's all for today. We hope you've had a good time. See ya!